starting with OCalc 5, there are many more types of structures that uh, OCalc is able to allow you to model. And as a result, there are many additional structure type reports that the system can show you. In fact, it's a fairly large number. And when you enroll in all the legacy reports, it can get pretty daunting. Now, to a certain extent, these reports automatically filter themselves based on the type of structure that you have to, uh, um, up in the editor. But still, if we go look at what the sort of default set of available reports is, it's fairly hefty. So one of the things I can do is control which reports I'm going to see and which reports I'm not going to see. So if I go under Options and say Manage Available Reports, this is a list of all the reports that are in my system. And I can say, well, you know what? I don't want the decay damage report. I don't want these various legacy report types. And um, let's say I don't want this and this and this. All right. So now I say OK. And now when I pull up my list of reports, you see that the list, I actually have to recalculate one time so that it rebuilds the list of available reports. But now you can see the report list is a signific significantly shorter. So this lets you, without having to remove items from the reporting folders, control which reports you're going to be able to see.